sponsored by Bet365. Hello and welcome to the Super Rugby Team Show. I'm Sarah Friend here to run you through all the ins and outs of all the Aussie teams in Super Rugby each week. Now let's take a look at who's making news in your club for round one of Super Rugby kicking off this weekend. And we kick things off on Friday night when the Brumbies host the Reds at GIO Stadium in Canberra. Brumbies coach Dan McKellar has rewarded rookie Noel Alessio with the playmaker duties on his debut for the club. He's obviously really excited and uh, as are all the debutants, so um, excited but he's in a good place I think. He's just, you know, he's not get, getting too far ahead of himself. Understands that uh, the game starts at 7.15 and just get his detail and preparation right and, and he'll perform well. Rugby league convert Solomon Carter also gets his first cap for the club starting on the wing. And there's no surprises. The Brumbies will feature an all Wallabies front row with the likes of Scott Seo, Falau Anger, and new captain Alan Alalatoa. They'll be backed up by rookie Harry Lloyd and James Slipper on the bench. Meanwhile, Darcy Swain and Murray Douglas will have their first opportunity to step up in the second row while Rob Valentini, Tom Cusack and Pete Samu will start in the back row. Queensland Reds coach Brad Thorne has also put faith in his young guns, naming Junior Wallabies Isaac Lucas and Harry Wilson to start in Friday night's Super Rugby opener. Tate McDermott has been handed the reins with James O'Connor and Jordan Pattaya forming an exciting midfield pairing. Lucan Salakai Loto starts at lock rather than blindside with fellow Wallaby Isaac Rodder on the bench. Brad Thorne has also named J.P. Smith to start at loosehead prop despite the 30-year-old missing both trials as he recovered from knee surgery. There's also a familiar face for Brumbies fans in the Reds mix with Henry Spate to make an emotional return to Canberra in Queensland colours. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a big one for Henry and um, it's just been wonderful having him. He's massive, or highly respected down in uh, Canberra and um, you know, and we're fortunate to have him. So um, he'll, uh, I'd say there'll still be a lot of fans down there. Be, you know, they'll be uh, wanting him to do well, but they'll be wanting a Brumbies win, but um, we'll see what happens. The action continues on Saturday when the Rebels play the Sunwolves in Japan. Rebels coach Dave Vessels has picked former Fiji halfback Frank Lamani to fill the shoes of departed Will Genia, notching up his first start for the club. Andrew Kellaway has also been named to debut on the wing with an impressive all Wallaby backline with Billy Meeks and Reese Hodge linking up in the centre and Marika Korobetti on the right wing and skipper Dane Halapetti at fullback. Matt Tamua will steer the ship and handle the vice-captaincy duties with forward Angus Cottrell. On the bench, four potential players are hoping to earn their first start. Front row reserves Steve Missa and Cam Orr. In the halves, Theo Strang and reigning NRC Player of the Year Andrew Deegan. Keeping them company is Super Rugby stalwarts Luke Jones, Ruan Smith, Richard Harwick and Michael Wells. To wrap things up, the Waratahs cross the ditch to face the best in the business, the Crusaders in Nelson. Waratahs coach Rob Penny has backed Junior Wallabies duo Will Harrison and Mark Nawanganitawase to make their Super Rugby debuts. It's a very exciting group. As we alluded right at the start of the program, you know, there was a bunch, and you know them as well, better than I do mostly, but... Um, there's, a group, there's a very talented bunch of young athletes coming through. Um, I think the future looks really bright for, for, the, for the Waratahs in the, in the medium to long term and hopefully the short term as well. Uh, but you know that hopefully will transpire into being um, an exciting time for the Wallabies as well. So you know, we're trying to get as many of our young men up to that next level. Um, they've got to do it at our level first and that's the challenge for them in the short term. Um, We'll see where it leads, but there's no doubt that those young boys that are getting a start and the ones off the bench um, have earned the right to be in those positions. Mark Nawanganitawase will start on the wing with fellow Junior Wallabies forwards Angus Bell and Carlo Tizano also in line for their debuts. Curtly Beal will start at fullback with Carmichael Hunt and Lalakai Fiketti in the centres and Jack Maddox coming off the bench. In the pack, Robbie Abel has been given the starting nod over Damian Fitzpatrick, while Lockie Swinton will start at six over Jack Dempsey. Now let's take a look at the odds for this weekend and the Blues take on the Chiefs first up on Friday night. 
The Chiefs look like they're favourites for that one. Then it's to the nation's capital and the Brumbies are looking good over the Reds. And as we saw last year, they are a tough outfit to beat at home. Saturday, the Sharks face the Bulls, followed by the Sunwolves and the Rebels in Japan. Then it's the defending champions taking on a young Waratahs outfit in New Zealand. The Crusaders pipped as the favourites in that one. Then Sunday, the Stormers clash with the Hurricanes in Cape Town and the Haguaris and Lions wrap things up in round one at 10am in Buenos Aires. If you're going to have a punt this weekend, please do so responsibly and you can keep up to date right here for all your match highlights, previews and reviews right here on rugby.com.au. We'll see you next week for round two.